In today's video, we're talking about the hottest narrative in Q1 liquid staking derivatives. Someone call USADA. This is on steroids right now. Going to go through what the LSDs do, some stats, some updates, and just a whole load more around this narrative, which really is a burgeoning industry in crypto, and it's making some shockwaves across the whole market. If you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Quick update here for BTC and some, you know, macro factors that affect us here. So Bitcoin has consolidated around $21,000. There was some expectation of a push lower yesterday with these stocks coming back online, but that really hasn't happened. So the longer we spend time towards this upper end of the range, around 21.2, 21.3, there is an expectation we could break through here. On the flip side to that, a pullback, anything up to around 19,300 and above is all fair game for a higher low. But if we do break through that, this is a bull trap. So obviously there is some indecision in the market still, and it's not a time to go all in, but neither to be sat totally on the sidelines, in my opinion, not financial advice. As if we do break through this level, we're looking at 22.8 and slightly above here, at which point the FOMO really will start to kick up another gear. SPX back online yesterday, that's the S&P 500. It was pretty much flat, so no real news there. And the Dixie, the dollar index, still at around 102. If we just pull that on the daily chart here, it has actually started to consolidate under a price point that I believed was an area of support. We'll just see how this one plays out as dollar weakness is good for our crypto assets. So starting here with the liquid staking governance tokens, the LSDs. Did a few videos on these, didn't get that much traction, but I'm sure this week those videos will start to do a whole lot better as this market is really ramping up. It's not showing a sign of slowdown. So over the last 24 hours, big mover here was Rocket Pool. Has a bit of a pullback right about now. Woke up this morning, it had gone from around $33 to over $42 over the last night. Let's just pull up that chart because pretty damn ridiculous. We're going to go into the reason why. Look at that hockey stick there. 32 and 23 cents all the way up to 42.78. We're going to go over that as I say in just a moment's time but let's just quickly run through them and use this function here. They show the fully diluted valuation. Gives you a good idea of which coins have a load of inflation to come. Market cap to FTV, essentially what percentage of these tokens are already out and circulating, i.e. Lido has around 83% of all its tokens in circulation. Rocket Pool has 100%, so that is better tokenomics just from that standpoint alone. And then you can see some of these like stake-wise, a low cap pick that many have and the likes of Staffy here, this one's been quite pumpy. They do have a load of inflation to come, so that is something to be aware of. If you're looking to make long-term bets on this industry, the top three here are the surefire winners of this market sector in my opinion. So Lido number one, this is the big boy, has the most staked ether, most lindiness in the market. Rocket Pool with some major updates we're going to go through in just a moment. This one has the best tokenomics in my view. Frax then gives you the best APR on your staked ETH. So you can see there's a three-way fight here, if you will, across these LSDs. The likes of Anchor, not a fan. Statewise has a V3 update coming, but that might be a bit too late in the day to make a real dent into this. And as I say, a load of inflation to come for this token. Staffy then down here is a low cap, 27 mil market cap, still has quite a bit of high inflation to come. But for a low cap, it is listed on Binance. This is why this one goes off like a rocket when it gets a bit of a pump. And it's just one that you can potentially trade in and out of as the LSD start to move, this one often goes on like 10% candles and stuff. So quite interesting to see. And then the ones down here, to be honest with you, not looking all that favorable, but stayed a labs here at the bottom is worth a bit of a shout, but up 25% on the day. You don't want to be buying those kind of green candles, but they have some innovation in the pipeline as well. Another one that's not on here, but is worth looking at as well. So if you are trying to, in a sense, just leave it up your staked ETH position with Redacted Cartel, you would stake your ETH, but rather than receive a liquid derivative, i.e. an ST ETH or that kind of thing, or a butterfly ETH, whatever they were gonna call it, they're not giving you that. They're giving you dollars instead. Their new stable coin, this is gonna be called Dinero. So if you were looking to just extract dollars straight out from your staked ETH position, this could be one that is worth a shout. It is more out there in terms of, you know, a bit trickier DeFi to understand. It's not as mainstream as the rest, but there are definitely a lot of DJs who are aping into this. And as we can see from the 90 day chart here, it went from around hundred bucks at the start of the year, now pushing towards 300 bucks. So a notable shout out there. 
Now let's have a little look at some info here on Rocket Pool. So I did a video on Rocket Pool last week, only got 395 views. And I've done quite a few videos on liquid staking derivatives, but they haven't really got that much traction, which is kind of odd since this is one of the biggest narratives that crypto has honestly ever seen. So in terms of Rocket Pool here, they've just been listed on Binance. Hence, we had that hockey stick overnight, came in around 4 a.m. UTC time, 32 bucks up to 42 bucks. So the Binance pump is real, and this shows us that the likes of Binance are now sniffing around Rocket Pool as a major player within this industry. So they're now listed in the innovation zone as of today. This means trading is about to start or has just started. New spot pairs, Rocket Pool to Bitcoin, Rocket Pool to BUSD and Rocket Pool to USDT. Withdrawals open tomorrow on the 19th. In addition, this is gonna be the first exchange to allow you to leverage your position for Rocket Pool starting within the first 48 hours. So that will be by the 20th, I would expect. You can go long or short on Rocket Pool against BUSD and USDT. As I mentioned in the Rocket Pool video, which I would highly recommend you watching, there is a tokenomics shift with this one that the others don't have. So if you are to set up a mini node for Rocket Pool, i.e. you want to run that node and be a validator, you have to put down collateral in the form of the RPL tokens. The more validators that come online, the more RPL that gets staked. But with this, with the margin contracts being enabled on Binance, this is the first place you can do that. This means that those individuals with validators can start to hedge their position as they lock the RPL for the node but they can short RPL on Binance Exchange. In my mind, this is gonna add increased volatility to the price point of this token, but very interesting stuff. Big tier one exchange, very much interested in RPL, and hence we're seeing the price go up here. Now, Binance weren't the only tier one exchange to sniff around Rocket Pool this week. So this was from their Discord. Coinbase Ventures is joining up with the Rocket Pool Oracle DAO here. So this will help further decentralize some of the validator nodes for Coinbase, which is a very big move for Coinbase, you know, centralization issues around that. And it shows major props to the Rocket Pool team that Coinbase have gone to them to help decentralize their network. And they obviously know that the tech is very solid on Rocket Pool, else they would not have made this kind of partnership. So in this week, we've had Coinbase and Binance both give a firm nod to the Rocket Pool team, and this has added fuel to the fire for the RPL token. Now the number one leader, Lido here at $2.05, down 3% on the day, whilst the number two is up like 37%, seems a little bit odd. So I think there could be a bit of an echo bubble pump here for the rest of the LSDs with Rocket Pool doing so well. And for those who are interested, these are the kind of levels I am watching on Lido right now. As you can see, currently sat on a level of support here at around $2, three, around two bucks really. But the next level up, this next trading zone is at $2.80. So a move would see us go around the 40% mark up there. And then we're looking for an extension to like all time high territory pretty much at $4.80, another 136% move. But I would be taking this level by level, but I do think we can take out this next level up and maybe hit this swing top here on the weekly chart. Just over three bucks because this is a narrative that is only growing more and more. So even in poor market conditions, the fact is these liquid staking derivatives haven't had their day in the sun before and this market is just growing day by day. If we also look at crypto ISO's data on the shorts here from High Block, these are all the liquidation points for Lido and the bottom shows you green is when there's lots of open interest for longs and red when there's shorts. As you can see, when there's too many people longing, the price retraces. Too many longs, they get liquidated by the market maker. Similarly, what we're gonna see here is that there's too many shorts in the markets right about now. And so if the price starts to move up, these guys get liquidated, have to cover their shorts, and the price of LDO could pump quite nicely out of here, setting us up for a move into this range in my opinion, not financial advice, just showing you one of the trade setups I'm very much interested in right about now. So the current state of this liquid staking derivatives market, there's 13% of the total ETH staked right now. So not that high whatsoever. And you would expect once the Shanghai upgrade takes place in March, this number is only gonna go upwards. And over time as well, the growth of this industry is going in one direction to the top right hand corner. In terms of the amount of liquid staking market share, so out of that 13%, around a third of it is in LSDs. So people using those liquid staking versions of the tokens, STETH, RETH, etc. The other 66% say, 
are from individuals staking their own nodes and big whale positions as well staking their ETH on the beacon chain directly. So say this goes up 2x in the coming year, we get to around 26% of all ETH staked, somewhere in the region of 32 million Ethereum tokens. You're looking at the minting of around 10 million LSD tokens. So this market is only going to grow and go in one direction, in my humble opinion. If we just go through some of the stats here, you can see the various movers and shakers in here, a load of centralized players like Coinbase, Kraken, Binance. If you do want to stake on centralized exchanges, I really wouldn't recommend that. I think we need to use the decentralized versions, the likes of Rocket Pool, providing a service that stops us from potentially being rugged by the downfall of any of these centralized entities. Here we can see the breakdown of the various players Players in here we have others the small yellow part at the top here in the pink we have these staking pools maybe stake fish or other type of validators you may have seen then in the gray we have all the centralized exchanges here then the whales they've increased their market share and increasing the market share on a rather consistent basis at the bottom are all of these liquid staking derivatives then over on DeFi llama just to finish off here this is an easy way if you go to the far right hand column to see the best APR you can get currently in each of these LSDs. So the APR on staked ETH for Lido is currently 5%, which is higher than the second place Coinbase and also Rocket Pool as well, 4.63 and 4.53% respectively. So this shows that the number one is potentially the number one as well because the APR is highest. This will of course attract more people as they just seek out the biggest yield. And if we just go down, and if you can see the Frax percentage here, that is the highest staking percentage you can get. Frax has had a heck of a week here, 6.63%, and stake-wise, not far behind at 5.94%, but I believe that is juiced by stake-wise token, the S-wise token, in incentives. So this is a very bullish market sector set to continue throughout Q1. The Shanghai upgrade for Ethereum, not until March of this year. So I think we will see a sustainable rally in this sector towards March, potentially a sell-off then, but this could be a bit of a trap setup due to the fact this industry sector is only going to keep growing over time. And some of these few coins here, I would say the top three are literally part of a handful of assets I'll be comfortable potentially even holding throughout the whole of 2023. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, comment me down below, guys. Check out the videos I'll leave down below as well. And if you haven't done your crypto taxes for this year, you're looking for some software, check out the pinned comment. 10% off over on Coin Tracking and a full video to boot as well. See you in the next one. Peace.